they quoted a four thousand dollar repair cost. At mine it was about twelve hundred dollars. All told, how much money do you have in your air conditioner repair? Five hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm here today with uh, with Phil, who you've seen in many videos, and today we're going to be working on my motorhome for a change, uh, and Bob, who was here helping uh, when we were putting solar panels on uh, Phil's motorhome, and uh, Bob uh, will share with us some of his uh, experience with uh, motorhome air conditioning. It wasn't his line of work, but... Uh, one of the benefits of uh, retirement is you get to dabble into uh, new things and, and learn them. We're going to just do a uh, preventative maintenance type check on my air conditioning system. It was about two years ago that uh, I had it repaired after buying the motorhome and just want to see how it's holding up. When I, when I bought my motorhome, the air conditioner, although I didn't test the temperature, was blowing a little bit cooler but never really got cold and uh, i took it into a local shop what they found was that i had a leaking hose so they evacuated replaced the hose replaced the air dryer now it's been working good bob you said with your motor home uh, your air conditioning didn't work and you took it into a local shop. Why don't you tell us what happened there? Yeah, and they said uh, possibly bad compressor and possibly a condenser also. So about how much did they charge you to uh, diagnose it and charge it? $500. Okay. When I had mine uh, with a hose fix and the dryer replaced and a charge, it was about $1,200. The, the quote I got for repair of the system, they quoted a $4,000 repair cost. Oh. Uh, I, I just started doing some diagnosing and troubleshooting with some documentation I pulled off the internet and was able to slowly go through things. And the majority of the fix for me was placing the compressor and then replacing the dryer, $200 or $250 for the compressor and maybe $25 for the uh, dryer. So $300 worth of parts. Yes, sir. Too. So I did go out and buy a, an AC vacuum pump. You can pull a vacuum. You can check uh, to see if it's leaking any uh, vacuum air. So all told, how much money do you have in your air conditioner repair? $500. <laughs> and now you that was done, what, two years ago now? going on two years and it's still holding up and uh, still working perfect it's holding up well then so when you're just... driving along in the 90s what kind of temperature are you going to get out of your vents uh 60 oh, okay. 60 65 so what are we going to do today next step we're going to hook up the gauges and we're going to check the pressures and see if they coincide with the chart that's in the documentation if these manifold pressures do not hold up We'll go ahead and inject some uh, coolant. So in this video, you know, we, we can show that it's possible, but uh, yeah, you need to spend some time doing research and it's best to do like, like me, to know a guy and call him. I did a lot of research <laughs> yeah. because I didn't want to make it worse than it already was. If you were to want to start over with the system and purge it and then test it for vacuum and stuff like that this is the this is where you plug in to to fill it and we'll probably be using some coolant we'll probably add some this is where you would pull a vacuum to pull the ophreon out so you'd, you'd hook up your vacuum pump to that yeah. and vacuum it out and yep. and put it into a into a recovery tank. Yeah, recovery, because you don't want to be bleeding ozone into the atmosphere. That's correct. And that, for me, that's kind of where I draw the line on this DIY stuff when it gets into evacuation and all of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, you got to have the right equipment and make sure you do that in an environmentally responsible uh, manner. That is, at a certain air temperature out here, which we'll, we're going to say is close to 70, mm -hmm. 
we're going to expect the low pressure side to be 10 to 20 and the high pressure side to be 125 to 175. So this is all just information out on the uh, interweb that's yep. free to all if you just take the time to uh, dig through and find it. I can't remember where I pulled this uh, PDF from, but you can find it on the internet. Um, Evans most, Timcon, okay. Yeah, and most RVs have this system. So we've been uh, running this now for more than five minutes, so it's time to, uh, to check our gauges. Um, why don't you go ahead and kick the fan up the full blown? Before I do that, let me take a second to get a temperature reading. 45 degrees. Yeah, it's 15 and the other side is at uh, 140. Okay. High side. Well, so low pressure, high pressure is working okay. Okay. We could add some, but I don't... No, I think really I just wanted to confirm that everything was good. Yeah, so... That I'm not leaking, you know, in the last two years, I'm not. So, I think we could conclude that today was a total waste of time because there's, yeah. noth there's nothing to fix. But uh, it's a good peace of mind to uh, know how it works and that uh, it's still working properly. And if you're, if you're blowing hot air when you're going down the road, the best first thing you'd want to do is maybe get one of these so you can see if your devices are working. And I think, uh, you know, we all need to search our friends network and find somebody who's uh, into AC. Now, Bob is, is self-educated on this and has got this, but I know, I, know, I know another guy who does this uh, for a living at our lodge, so if I got into something really hairy, uh, you know, he does stuff on the side. I could uh, get a hold of him too. So, you know, use your friend network uh, on stuff like this too. So let's, we'll shut her down and disconnect and uh, look forward to uh, the heat of the summer again and relying on my air conditioner.